So I will try to do my best to keep this spoiler free, but here are my thoughts on Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. So the real question I'm sure all of you guys are wondering is, is this movie better than Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? And the answer to that is yes. But (laughs) is this better than the OG trilogy of Indiana Jones? And the answer to that would be no. With this film, you can see that they put a lot of love into it and a lot of care. And I actually was really impressed with Harrison Ford. You know, I feel like when you kind of play a role for a really long time, you get tired of it. And he's really old. And I was expecting him to kind of have this dull energy, but he really brought his A game. And I really, really appreciated how well he jumped back into playing Indy. It's not Steven Spielberg who did this film. It's actually um, James Mangold. And I think that he did a really good job kind of bringing in Um, the feeling that Steven Spielberg and George Lucas gave off in the OGs. As someone who grew up watching Indiana Jones, you really want to respect what they made and what they created, and I think that they did a good job with that. Before we get to the things that I didn't like about the movie, I'm going to talk about the things that I really did like about it. The first thing being, I really, really liked moments where You could feel, because of the way that they were writing the story, they were trying to really hone that OG Indiana Jones, but also give him the arc of growing and changing and being older. And there are a couple moments in the movie that were really funny because he was acknowledging those things. He he seems like a very real hero, um, which is why I think everybody has always really loved Indiana Jones. You know, it's not like he's just so amazing at every single thing he does. A lot of times it's luck. And I think that Harrison Ford plays Indiana Jones so, so well, even in his older age. They have a lot of fun with their action sequences and you can tell they feel almost kind of cartoony, but in the in a good way. They feel like none of these things could actually happen, but but I'm so happy that they are happening so I can witness it. And it's just kind of like you're on a roller coaster with them. And for this type of movie, having an action sequence that's kind of on the borderline of of unrealistic works really well with this type of film. I think if if it looked too real, it would kind of take you out of it or it wouldn't be wouldn't feel the same. It wouldn't feel like this adventure that you're going on with Indiana Jones. There's a lot of moments that really remind you of the original Indiana Jones and I think that that was lacking in Crystal Skull. Um, Crystal Skull felt like a very different movie where this one really felt more similar to the structure of the first few movies. So another aspect that I really liked about the film was the fact that they kind of tied in the fourth film. I know the fourth film got a lot of hate. I enjoyed the fourth film, but I understand that people didn't like it. And I I understand why. Um, But they did kind of acknowledge it and then kind of corrected what they did with the fourth film. And I liked that. I liked that they at least acknowledged it, put it in his storyline, put it in Indy's storyline and kind of continued his story without kind of bringing that in, in the worst kind of way, if that makes sense. So now that I talked about the things that I liked, I'm going to talk about things that I didn't like. First of all, this movie is way too long and I felt like there were too many characters that they introduced that were so irrelevant to the film. I feel like if they would have tightened the film and got rid of some of the characters, I think that this movie actually would have been a really solid movie. But because of those things, it really does change how the pacing of the story works. And also there's so many lulls to it that it could have been a better film, in my opinion, had they tightened it. As I said before, I feel like they really did try to cater to fans of Indiana Jones and do a great service to him and the movie, but they definitely lacked in a few areas. I felt like there wasn't as much heart as the old ones, and I also felt like the humor that they tried felt too forced, and it also felt flat. There were parts that were funny, but I feel like they could have done a lot more with it. And I feel like Indy has a lot of comical moments, and I feel like those just weren't there that were normally there. Plus, I thought that there would be funnier moments with Phoebe Waller-Bridge because she's hilarious, 
And yes, there were moments, but a lot of them felt too forced or fell too flat. I will say that while the jokes fell flat, I do think that Phoebe did a really, really good job in this action type film. And I am really excited to see what else she does in the future. That's kind of different from her usual roles. So I was impressed with her, but I felt like the humor felt a little too forced. Another thing that took me out of the film was the CGI. I do really miss the days of practical effects, and I feel like Indiana Jones was so prominent with practical effects and it always looked so cool. And I think with Skull Kingdom in this one, there was more CGI and it just takes you out of it. It just doesn't feel as real or as exciting. And while we've come a long way with the de-aging process in CGI, I feel like there were a lot of moments where he looked pretty goofy and it just seemed like it was too much and maybe unnecessary. Like you could tell that it was his face plastered onto like a younger body and it was just kind of jarring. It's funny though, because I feel like this might be mixed because I have heard people say that they thought it looked really good. So it's, I guess it's really dependent on you. And my biggest gripe of all is that the plot is just kind of all over the place. Like I said before, I think this kind of ties into it being too long and introducing so many characters that weren't necessary. I think if they would have worked on that better, I think that would have tied better with the plot and maybe it wouldn't have felt as scattered. And I feel like they were kind of cleaning up the mess that Kingdom of Crystal Skull left. So it felt like they were trying to clean that up as well as make their own new storyline. So it just felt a little messy in those aspects, but I think that they did a good job with that in mind. Like I said, I think if the fourth movie had not existed, the plot would have been a lot tighter and a lot cleaner and made a lot more sense. But they were kind of like cleaning that up. And I think that's maybe the issue why it felt a little off. And continuing talking about the plot, the end, the final act was a little weird and a little dissatisfying. Not as weird as the previous movie, but it was a little weird. However, I don't think it's the worst thing. And I do appreciate what they actually did versus what they were kind of hinting they were going to do. So I'm glad that they didn't do that. (laughs) Obviously, I'm being very vague because I don't want to give spoilers. But if you know, you know. So overall, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I'm really happy that I saw it and I'm glad that they made it. And this was Indiana Jones's goodbye in comparison to Kingdom of Crystal Skull. I felt like the ending was heartwarming and emotional and it definitely made you feel the feels that you felt when you first watched Indiana Jones all those years ago. While there are definite things that could have been better, I am happy that they made this film. I think that it is a good movie and I would totally recommend this movie. It's obviously not one of my favorite Indiana Jones movies, but it was an adventure and it was fun nonetheless. That is my review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Did you like this movie? Did you not like this movie? Are you going to watch it? Are you not going to watch it? Did you like four? That's the big debate. Did you like four? Anyway, that's my video. I will see you guys later. Bye.